Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Monday, November 9th, so God bless you today. I hope you have a great day today, whether you're going to school or going to work. Start off with a good attitude, and the rest of your day will be great. Believe that. Now, as we know, we all have these advisories. I'm sure y'all see enough of this today, so I will be fast. Uh, the disturbance off to the uh, east Atlantic has moved up to 70%. And the one right there where I've been showing you where the next uh, tropical cyclone, where I think it's going to be theta, is moved up to 50%. Okay, so we got to keep a good eye on that. Ada is actually, as of 7 uh, o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central, it is now 992 millibars. It is still 65 miles per hour, and it's moving west at 13 knots. So it is getting out of here. Yay, get out of here, Ada. And here's a track according to NOAA. You're still on a tropical storm. Watch for a Cuba. You still, I mean, warning. Uh, oh yeah, watch for Cuba. Sorry. You're still on a tropical storm. Warnings for South uh, Florida. But I, I presume that will go away, but probably not because they, they show it will go up to a hurricane. So they're probably going to keep that all the way until it dies out. And it looks like it's going to be the Florida Keys. Uh, GFS is showing that it's actually going to die out in the Gulf. Now, here's your, your rainfall to come for the next one to five days, and it looks a lot better. Uh, South Florida, you could get four to six inches on the tip down there. Uh, the dark green is two to four, as well as northern Florida, uh, two to four inches. And southern Georgia, it looks like you might get two to four inches out of this. It is a, still a couple days away. I will update you on our precipitation as it gets closer. Now, here's what it looks like on the Euro. Exactly what's going to happen in 24 hours it is going to be down there by western Cuba. And then it's going to weaken and then strengthen its way back to the north. But the euro shows that it just dies off. It is nothing to worry about. It will go away. Now, as far as your precipitation that you're going to feel out of this for the next four days, Florida, it look, does look like the, the, the straight line winds that comes across the central U.S. does give northern Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. Y'all will be getting some weather out of, the, out of that. I will do an update on that storm so y'all know what to expect on that. That's going to be different than this one. But this is the answer that you can get as far as the next one to five days from rain bands and from this sitting in the Gulf, putting uh, onshore flow onto the uh, Florida. Now, you will see pockets of two inches. There is a pocket of two and a half to three inches. And these reds, these red pockets, these are three inches. So be aware of that. Now, as far as the GFS shows, it shows that when it goes in 24 hours past Cuba, it does strengthen. It gets down to a 970, uh, 969, sorry. And then when it goes towards uh, Florida, it gets pinned. There's a high pressure over here. It starts going south, and it moves even closer, so it can't come towards Florida. It blocks it away, and it either dies off or goes off in the Gulf and dies off. There's actually two high-pressure systems fighting over space. The one over Atlantic is much bigger, much stronger, so it's going to dominate. It's not going to push more east. It's going to push more to the west because the one to the west is a lot smaller. Now, for your total precipitation for the next five days, according to the GFS, you can see the difference. It's not showing all them pockets of two inches. It's showing only for southern Florida and for the east coast of Florida. You can get up to three inches, uh, but it's not showing the pockets of two across central Florida. So there is a little bit of discrepancy as far as who's going to get what rain and when. Now, just to show you, it is uh, trending with a lot of models. GFS shows it goes down to western Cuba and then come back. And when it comes back, it's coming back to die, guys. It's not coming back to do anything. Now, in the next 24 hours, you'll see it'll be right here by western Cuba. 48 hours is when it's going to do that, if any, intensification and heading back towards northern uh, Gulf of Mexico. Then as it curves within 90 hours, it's going to die off. I mean, within 90 hours, it's going to be gone. Now, here's the official spaghetti track, so you can see everything else that is possible. It is possible to carry on as a weak tropical storm, tropical depression, and go up to the East Coast. It's highly unlikely because of the cold front coming in, knocking everything to the, to the east. The only thing that would be likely would be a very weak system coming across into the Atlantic right here because there's no room left for anything to do anything. But with this high pressure moving and it's setting up even further south into the Atlantic Ocean, I don't even see that as a possibility. This thing is going to die off. Uh, towards the Florida Panhandle as a tropical storm, tropical depression very quickly. And all these other spaghetti models, I don't think they exist. If it starts doing any of these movements, it's going to meet the other uh, high pressure and it's going to die off. So either way, this thing is going to be gone. 
Now you can see the formations from EPS Cyclones, from all the members. They all agree it's going to go to Cuba, then come back. And this is the very highly uh, agreeable path from all the models. But now, as you know, I always like to keep you all up to date, probably weeks ahead. But there's nothing wrong with being updated whole <laughs> weeks ahead. But I'm still showing that anomaly after almost two weeks now. It's still popping up. Uh, down towards uh, Nicaragua, so God bless y'all, because I am showing that that is going to be a hot spot for where this storm is going to form, and it can either go towards Jamaica, or it can go towards the Western Caribbean, but if we look for the next 10 days, I didn't want to go past 10 days, 10 days is far enough, things will change, uh, as you will notice, Jamaica, this thing does have a possibility of going over you as a system, and it has shown that a few times now, and then the other times it has shown it uh, in Western Caribbean. And yesterday, GFS actually picked it up going towards Belize. So I will stay up to date for that. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell. I do this every day. Not one day, not five days, seven days. And I update every day. So God bless you. I want to make sure you stay informed. Now, in the next 200, uh, sorry, <laughs> in the next five days, uh, the next chance for a tropical depression will be in this area for, tro for uh, Ada. You see it will head towards the Florida Panhandle, and it will more, most likely be a strong to a weak tropical depression as it goes away. Also, you can see the area right below here by Nicaragua for a tropical depression will occur within the next one, uh, next, next 120 hours. It's five days. And as you get closer, you can see that the percentages get even better for growth in that area. So we got to watch out for that system, guys. It is going to be coming. And as far as the next 10 days, you can see a chance for a tropical storm can form right off the edge of, of Nicaragua and Honduras. It's going to be a lot sooner. I'm showing it's anywhere it's from 7 to 10 days, but it is a possibility. It is showing up, and believe me, I will update. Now, you see what I'm talking about. Within the next 14 days, guys, there's a possibility for anomaly to come into the Western Caribbean they don't know if it's going to do any damage to Nicaragua or Honduras yet because it still hasn't even formed yet. It is, bit, is fixing a form, but it is a chance for it to affect Cancun, uh, northern Belize, Yucatan, western Cuba, also in to get in the Gulf. So we just got to wait and see exactly what's going to happen. Uh, I believe it will be within the next 8 to 10 days. This is 8 days away, 7 and a half days away. Uh, Ada is going off to the east coast according to the G, uh, GFS. Has a tropical depression, a little weak system. It will leave a little bit of rain right there. I will update that. But you see we have another low pressure in the southern Caribbean that is forming up. And as we follow it, you will see it will strengthen as it goes by Jamaica. And then the next 10 days, that's where it's going to be. Right below Jamaica, it's going to be nice and strong. It is going to be a hurricane. And then it's going to intensify all the way down to 948 to the western Caribbean. And you can check... The backlog of my last few videos has been showing this 948 consistently. Uh, except yesterday it showed GFS. It went down to 947 towards Belize. So I really don't want that, especially with what they've been dealing with. Now after that, as we know, all this information can change. It's not set in stone. It's still too far away. But it's shown it does have problems with high pressures and, and uh, dry air getting all the way into the Gulf. And it does die down. But it does show it gets up to 948 with a potential. So we have to see what exactly happens uh, when that happens. Like I said the other day, I did show anomalies. And I did show you that we have some in December as well. But we have this one right here. Let's deal with the one first. I do show we have about three more tropical uh, cyclones that are coming. Like I said, I did show you in another video the other day. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. We, we have three. We have the one. Now we have the, the one that's coming up in between the 16th and the, and the 19th of November. And we have another one that's coming for December 11th that I saw. And I saw another one at around Christmas time, I know, and December 20th, around that time. I will keep you updated. You know I will. Now, if you take a look here, you'll see exactly what's going on with the Guatemalan uh, Army. They are trying so hard to uh, let me get it out of mode. They are trying so hard to help their people over there with the flooding that it has, it has gotten really drastic. Uh, the army actually tried to save their people. And you can see it here. They're fighting through all the mud just to get up these hills, just to get up these mountains, just to get to people to try and see if they can help. So it, God bless y'all with y'all effort. Y'all are trying so hard, and all y'all are doing is just meeting 
uh, adversity like you would not believe. So bless Guatemala, bless Central America, everybody over there. Y'all been through enough. But I do show there is a possibility for another system that is coming in your area. So do make sure that you subscribe and you hit that bell because I am almost the only one that you'll find that will show these hurricanes so far early. I've shown them up to a month early and they did hit. It was a week later than predicted, but it still came. And as you know, you do a far forecast. It is going to be later than, than predicted when it is further away. So let me bless y'all today. I want y'all to have a blessed Monday. I want y'all to start off great in a great attitude. Yay, Ada is dying. That's a good thing. Everybody dealing with the flooding, God bless you. I hope you're not losing power. Daniel 12. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never, never seen since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that, that be wise shall shine as the righteous, I'm sorry, they shall shine as the brightest, the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many, let me read that again, I apologize. And they that be, be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn, turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two the one on this side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever that it shall be for a time, times, and a half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O Lord, O my, o my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. A thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days, but go thou and... and Go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Amen. God bless you all today. Hope you all have a great day today. It is Monday, but hey, it's a beautiful Monday because as we all know, it's the second day of the week. It's not the first. So y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all this afternoon. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. All glory does go to God. Amen.